Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I got an interesting email the other day and it asked, do snakes always eat their prey head first? The truth is, from time to time, we actually do see snakes eat it from the opposite end. But I felt the best way to really tackle this issue was to go ahead and hand a bunch of snakes their prey backwards and see what they would do with it. You're watching Snake Bites. All right, so what we're gonna try first is actually a Burmese python and a rabbit. We're gonna try to get her to take it from the rear end and see if she moves to the head to eat the animal. You always wanna use tongs, but unfortunately, my tongs are broke, so I guess I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. Oh, this one's gonna get ugly. Oh, God. Oh, All right, guys, it's Cal's Question Week. The summer blockbusters have come and gone. There's been some pretty big hits, like Inception. You guys got to see it. Some huge flops, like that Airbender movie, which completely sucked. Text your video, comment below. Let me know which ones you liked and which ones you just couldn't stand. Okay, we saw what happened when you feed big snakes rabbits backwards. They almost always go for their head or just leave it alone. I'm gonna now go for rats. Now the thing that's difficult is they have a tail when you feed backwards. So I'm thinking that the only way I can really do this is to kind of hang on to the tail and hold it. But I tell you what, when you're feeding a carpet python that's seven foot long, this is definitely a little sketchy. I'm just hoping that I can get away without getting my hand taken off, but we'll see what happens. That was a close one. So as you can see, the rat eaters were the same results as the rabbit eaters. They would take it from the back, but I tell you what, that was really close to my hand when I was feeding it that way, but they always went around to the head and started to eat that way. Okay, we're in the Kluberg room. We're gonna try the same thing with the mice that we did with the rats. Again, trying to keep their tails tucked. We'll see what kind of results we get. Okay, so the mice in the Kluber rooms had the same result as the rats and the rabbits. Each snake took it by the rear end, but always went around and found the head to eat it. Let's go in the baby Kluber room and see if pinky mice make a difference. Okay, just because I want to prove the point that a snake can eat a prey under and backwards, the thing I'm going to do is use a pinky mouse, which you can see the rear end doesn't look much different than the head. I'm also going to use a bigger snake, something that would normally eat a fuzzy, so maybe it would tempt it to just go ahead and power it right through backwards. Let's see what results I get. Yeah. 
Okay, so finally we have success. Every snake that I handed a pinky to backwards had no problem taking it down. But again, there's not a big difference between the rear end and the head of a pinky mouse. Tell you what guys, some of those rats, when I was handing to them, they came really close to my fingers. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to ask Chewy if he could do a few of them for us. So Splendog wants me to feed some brook snakes, but first, let's see how this works. Here snake, eat my butt. Okay, I gotta fold the tail so he sees the mouse butt. Here, I'm a rat, here's my butt. Here you go. He doesn't seem to- Ah! Oh, you stupid! Ah! Woo. I didn't, it didn't seem like he wanted it. But now it does. Eat the butt. <laughs> Got my cuticle. And, oh, he's right on my nail. Who oh. came up with this one? Ow. Oh. Ah. Hendog, you won't stop biting because the rat's in there. Oh. Ah. 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 Woo. Take it. You earned it. Just leave me alone. For this week's comment of the week, we're going to switch it up a little bit. A few weeks ago, I gave you guys a number that you could leave a voicemail. Tell us what you think of the show, or if you had some ideas. We had some great voicemails, like this one from Stupid Casper 17. Hi, um, Snake Bite, uh, Brian, you are like my favorite YouTuber. You are so cool, and I love your animals and everything. Uh, I was just wondering if you could make a video of a, if you have a reptile boa, please make a video of that. Also, I heard you're going to be at uh, the Reptile Expo September 11th and 12th at the Anaheim Convention Center. Please tell me if this is true. Uh, have a good day. No doubt I need to get more boas in the show. I really love them, and I'll do the best I can do to get them into the show for you. As for Anaheim, no doubt I'll be there, and I'll really look forward to seeing you. You guys keep sending me voicemails and comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And I did find it interesting that even with us handing the prey backwards, the majority of animals still would go around and eat it face first. I kind of thought that was going to happen, but it was really cool to actually see it on film. I want to make sure you guys check out USR.org. These guys are fighting for our rights to keep reptiles, and they need your support. Till next time, this has been Snake Bites.